message I would like to share with you today is there is power and there is superpower. Did you hear what I said? There is power and there is what? Superpower. There is power and there is superpower. There is power and there is superpower. Power is ability to overcome obstacles and achieve desired goals. But we are saying there is power and there is superpower. Superpower is power that is greatest and is over and above ordinary power. While countries have military power, economic power, other countries are superior to all other countries and they are considered superpowers. And you know that America is a super, it's a superpower. They do what they want. If they want to attack Iraq, they attack without asking questions or getting approval from the United Nations. What will you do? The ICC said the International Criminal Court said it will arrest American soldiers who are involved in Syria. And Americans said, you try it, superpower. You try arresting even one of them. And they said, we will arrest you, the judges. Superpower. And we are saying there is power and there is what? While an ordinary American soldier cannot be taken to the International Criminal Court, the Kenyan president and deputy were there. There is a power and there is super what? No, I'm just saying there is a power and there is super what? No, I'm just saying there is a power and there is super what? Hey, I can't hear you. There is a power and there is super what? Super power. It's just a reality that there is power and they superpower. Power can do amazing and scary things. Power. But when superpower comes, power surrenders and gives way. There is power and there is superpower. Listen, friends, there is spiritual power and there is spiritual superpower. Power. And this issue has been a concern for many people. Let me tell you, for the last many months, there is no single day that passes before somebody raises concern about spiritual powers. And I've come here to tell you today that there is power and there is what? Superpower. 
There is power and there is superpower. I want you to know that while there is power, there is also what? There is also superpower. There is spiritual power and there is spiritual superpower. Demonic forces are driven by angels who fell with the Satan from heaven. When Satan was in heaven, he was not Satan. He was Lucifer, good angel. But because of pride and arrogance, sin began in his life. And he persuaded a third of heavenly angels to rebel against God. And the Bible tells us in Revelation chapter 12 verse 7 that there was war in heaven. And the war went on and Satan and his angels lost their place in heaven and they came on earth. And upon coming on earth, these angels of the devil are now the demonic powers. Demonic powers that are all around us. Demonic forces perform miracles and are behind the miracles of false religions and denominations. Demonic powers, these angels who fell with Satan from heaven, they perform miracles. Actually, they can stretch the leg of a lame person. Actually, they can open the eyes of a blind person. Demonic powers. Demonic forces perform miracles for witches and sorcerers and diviners and those who cast spells and those who cast people. Demonic powers. They perform miracles for witches. That's why a witch can come and speak to a cup and the cup starts jumping across the room and you say, hey! What power? I'm here to tell you there is a power and there is what? They superpower. While demonic forces are doing things in their power, I want you to know that there is power and there is also what? There is also superpower. There is power and there is superpower. So when you see these amazing things, don't be so much attached and attracted to miracles because miracles can come from any direction. They can come from God and they can come from demonic forces. Miracles by themselves without biblical truth does not point to the presence of God. Demonic forces are behind demon possession. Demonic forces also manifest themselves through hypocrites. Demonic forces have power. Demonic forces have power. Demonic forces have what? They have power. But God has superpower. Now, let me repeat that for the sake of slow learners. Are we together? We are saying that demonic forces have power, but God has superpower. I didn't know you were that slow at university level. But let me say it again. That demonic forces have power, but God has superpower. Amen. Yeah, yeah, you are now talking. This is something worth saying amen about. That while demonic forces have power that they run around with, our God has superpower. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We have come to say that there is power and there is what? There is power and there is what? There is power and there is superpower. Only God, what did I say? Only God is a superpower in heaven and on earth. I'm saying only God is a superpower in heaven and on earth. I'm saying only God is a superpower. There is no other superpower other than our God. Hallelujah. Amen. Only God is a superpower. All of us have powers, but God is a superpower. 
God as a superpower will always have his way. He will do what he wants. He will go wherever he wants to go. He can do what he decides and thinks. He has nobody to ask and he has nobody to report to or nobody to explain to. God is a superpower. And that's why we have come to say today there is power and there is what? There is superpower. God, as a superpower, will always have his way. He creates at his word. Superpower. He just comes and says, let there be light. Yeah. And what do we have? Superpower. Light. He doesn't have to run cables. Okay, can you nail that one? That uh, Do you have, make sure red is at the right place and black? Okay, this side, is the switch ready? Okay, go to the main switch. Oh, let's turn it on. That is for power. But for superpower, let there be light. No cables, no sun, no moon, no stars, and there was light. He heals the sick without injecting or applying things or swallowing tablets or boiling roots, mixing ginger, honey, and other things. No, he just says, get well. There is the power of herbalists with their bitter concoction. That's power. But we are saying there is a power and there is what? Superpower. All he says is that rise up and go. <laughs> and the disease is what? There is a power and there is what? He raises the dead. God doesn't at attend funerals in person to go and cry there. He says, Lazarus, you come. <laughs> oh, Lazarus has died. Lazarus was a good man. He says, Lazarus, come. And Lazarus comes out. He says, yes, did you call me? Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 There is power and there is what? There is power and there is what? There is power and there is what? He calls the storm. When there is a storm and water is getting into the boat, he doesn't get in the business of scooping water and throwing it out. No, 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 no. He just wakes up a little sleepy, rubs his eyes and says, hey, can't you keep quiet? <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, you know he's a little sleepy and the wind and the storm, he rubs his eyes and says, hey, storm and wind, please, let's have some peace and quiet here, yeah? Or sleeping. Eh, sorry, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Shh. <laughs> there is power and there is what? And when he needs wine, he doesn't have to go for grapes and start grinding things. He says, get me water, test it. He turns water into what? And he silences demons because there is power and there is superpower. He saves his people and will destroy the devil and his power in hellfire because he is the superpower. Hallelujah. There is power and there is what? There is power and there is what? In the book of Numbers, there is a very interesting story. Israelites were moving from Egypt, going to the promised land, and they came to a neighborhood of the Moabites. And the Moabites had stories of how Israelites had crossed the Red Sea and so many things. And the king of Moabites, King Balak, said, I can't defeat these people. He went up the hill, he looked at the Israelites, and he said, I can't defeat these people. Military power will not work. I need spiritual power, spiritual power. And so Balak said, go and get me Balaam, who works with spiritual issues. I want him to bewitch the Israelites, so that their military power is weakened. And when they are weak, I will attack. He needed spiritual power to attack. And when Bala Balaam heard this story, he said, mm, those people, I know them. 
while we have power, they have super power. And he refused. He said, listen, I cannot use power to attack a superpower. It is foolish. But they insisted and he went ahead to curse and bewitch Israel. He went with these items to bewitch Israel. But God kept appearing to him, telling him, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it. At some point, God, the superpower, opened the mouth of his donkey. And his donkey had a discussion with him. That's when you know you're dealing with superpower. <laughs> his own donkey had a discussion with him and told him, hey, guy, why are you beating me? I've been your donkey all this time. Are you okay? And so... After several attempts of cursing Israel, listen to what the Bible says. Numbers chapter 23 verse 11. Balak said, Numbers 23 verse 11. Numbers chapter 23 verse 11. Balak said to Balaam. King Balak is saying to Balaam, who is supposed to be which? What have you done to me? I took you to curse my enemies and look, what have you done? You have blessed them. Balaam couldn't curse Israel as Balak had asked him to. Balaam was to curse using demonic power. But God's superpower took over and all he could do is bless. Can you imagine he who can take over your mouth? Balaam said, okay, okay, I'm now ready to curse. Let me begin. I bless you, I bless you, I bless ah. <laughs> What is wrong with the mouth? And Balak said, listen, I hired you not to bless but to curse. Please control your mouth. And he said, okay, let's try a second time. Now I'm ready. These are the Israelites. Okay, beginning that end to that end, may you be blessed. Ah, no. I didn't call you to bless. I called you to curse. Listen, my friends. God is a superpower. He can change the agenda of the devil and all our enemies because God is a superpower. He changed the agenda of Balaam. When Balaam and Balak went up the hill to curse Israel, God appeared and changed their agenda. Their agenda changed from cursing to blessing because God is a superpower. I'm telling you today, God's people, that if you have enemies and they have an agenda, you trust God, he will change their agenda. When you have God, you don't worry about the agenda of your enemies. And the evil one, and the evil one, you don't even have to spy on them or even get the latest gossip. Oh, what have they said? What are these people saying about me? Do you think they're in support? What are they now planning to do? Now, th that is what is done by people in power with limited power. But those of us with superpower, I don't care. What are they saying? You don't need to tell me. But they were saying they will finish you. I don't give a hoot. Let them do what they want to do. Let them say what they want to say because I'm on the side of superpower and not afraid of mere powers. Just let God deal with it. He will cause all activities against you to play out in your favor. Hallelujah. Because God is a superpower who continuously changes the agenda of the evil one. Now let me repeat that. Because this is a very big point I've just said. And you are looking at me with your eyes and mouth. Are we together? Have you ever found a situation where you are looking at somebody with both? Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying God is a superpower and he continuously changes the agenda of the evil one. Amen. 
Did you hear what I said? That God is a superpower and he's continuously changing the agenda of the evil one. Hallelujah. While the evil one wanted us dead yesterday, we are alive today, not because the evil one had mercy on us, but because God changed the agenda of the evil one. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are registered in school this semester, not because we were lucky to have money, but because God changed the agenda of the evil one. We have survived traveling up and down dangerous roads, not because the drivers are safe, but because God changed the agenda of the evil one. God is in the business of changing the agenda of the evil one because God is a superpower. Hallelujah. When the Bible says that all things work for the good of those who love God, it is because God is a superpower and he changes all things in our favor. He's God. It doesn't matter how bad things are cooking. God just changes the agenda. He just pushes it aside and it works in your favor. Hallelujah. And that's why we just came to say there is power and there is what? There is power and there is what? While you see activities of power around you, just remember there is superpower. When you see activities of power around you, just remember there is superpower. There is power and there is what? In Numbers chapter 23, verse 23, Balaam eventually declares to Balak. He tells, Balaam tells Balak this truth. He tells him, listen, my friend, they, there is no sorcery against these people of Jacob. It is not there. There is no divination that can work against Israel. Hallelujah. He surrenders. He says, listen, I'm a witch per excellence, and I've been doing these things. But you see, the people I've been targeting are those who use power also. Power counteracting power. But now we are not dealing with the power. We are dealing with super. And he tells him, listen, it doesn't work. Again, as these guys, no, it doesn't work. Eh, Jacob, no. Israel, no, 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 no. It doesn't work. He says, I've surrendered. This kind of thing is normally done to those people with the power. But this superpower, you can't. By the way, there is a blog I did this week on this verse. If you've been following the blog, no spell, no curse, no witchcraft, you know, it is there. And it's detailed information. You can go and read it from the University Church website. Anyone who belongs to God, listen, anyone who belongs to God, no demonic power can affect or influence their lives. Nobody who belongs to God, nobody who belongs to God can be affected by demonic powers. No way, impossible. There is no way you can be bewitched if you are a baptized member of the church believing in Jesus. Your undergarments can be stolen, taken to a witch doctor in Kitui or in... A in the islands of Tanzania, that is okay. It can be fried. It can be added things. Nothing will happen to you. You belong to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Because there is a power and there is what? There is superpower. So you don't need to be afraid to go home just because you have joined the university. Oh, if I go home, they will bewitch me and now I will not finish my studies. I will start failing. I will start getting sick unless you are not a believer. The Bible says there is no sorcery, no divination, no demonic power can work against a believer of God. None, none. There is none. It is impossible. It can't happen. It won't happen unless you are a fake Christian. Unless you are a hypocrite. Who are religious on one hand, but on the other hand they are not. If you are a Christian who never returns tithe, you are bewitchable. Are we together? Just beware, you can be bewitched successfully. Are we together? Your mouth can be turned on the other side successfully by demonic power. You need to know that. If you never give offerings, you only give tithe, you never give offerings, you are bewitchable. You can get sick and for no reason your academic grades can come down. Ooh, bewitchable. 
if you are adulterer, fornicator, and you still come to church faithful, you need to know you are bewitchable, bewitchable. You can get sick when the critical exam is there and you sleep the whole night and go to the exam room, look at the paper, and you see nothing but stars. Then you faint for a few seconds. You really didn't faint. You are wishing to faint. Are we together? Bewitchable. If you are a drunkard in private, Christian at home, non-baptized, but you are around drinking to please some people, you are so bewitchable, you should actually avoid your village. You should just be hanging around during holiday. We ask you, what's wrong? You say, I'm following up a term paper. I don't know what. We know your problem. Are we together? <laughs> if you are a client to witches and a believer, if you are a Sabbath breaker, you don't know that the Sabbath begins Friday evening to Saturday evening, but in between you are shopping, in between you are doing your own things, you run for visit here and there, you attend ceremonies here and there, you are so bewitchable that you should be afraid for yourself. If you are a tribalist or a racist and in church, you should know that you are so bewitchable that even a witch on attachment can work on you successfully. <laughs> if you are a hypocrite, a pretending Christian, this demonic power will harass and frustrate your life. But when you are a baptized believer who strives to be faithful, there is no demonic power that can affect or will ever affect you. Never! Because you are covered by super power. There is power and there is what? There is power and there is what? Hallelujah. Yeah. Now when we tell people, oh, come get baptized, you think you are doing me a favor. You are covering yourself from your uncles. Are we together? <laughs> oh, come get baptized. Eh, I think I will come. But these people, why do they insist? And you are there, what? You think you are doing me a favor. I'm covered by superpower. I go home walking, smiling. You are the one trembling the whole night, dreaming about coffins descending in your room. <laughs> <laughs> And you scream the whole night sweating. <gasps> and the neighborhood wakes up. Hey, is there a problem? No, it's okay, guys. It's okay. <laughs> Everyone is freezing cold. You are the only one sweating. Your old scared grandmother who died long ago. Every time you sit in class, you see her doing this. My friend, you are under power. You need super power. Brethren, there is a power and there is what? There is a power and there is what? Look at Numbers chapter 24 verse 1. The Bible says, Numbers 24 verse 1, Now when Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, he did not resort to divination as at other times. <laughs> he did not seek to use what? Hey, look on the screen. He did not seek to use what? That means all along, what was he using? So sorry. When he discovered God is against this, he discovered I'm dealing with superpower. He says this sorcery will not work anymore. It will not work. Verse 10, chapter 24, verse 10. Then Balak's anger burned against Balaam. He struck his hands together and said, I summoned you to curse my enemies, but you have blessed them again. Three times you have blessed them. And he says, verse 11, Now leave at once and go home. I would have rewarded you handsomely, but the Lord has kept you from doing it. Listen, friends. Sorcery failed during Balaam and Balak collaboration. And it has failed to work against all God's children to this day. Let me repeat it for the sake of those who English is a problem. Are we together? I'm saying sorcery failed during the Balaam and Balak collaboration. And it has failed to work against 
all God's children to this day. Amen. What does the church say? Amen. That sorcery failed and it has continued to fail and it is even failing when? Now. It didn't work and it won't work. Sorcery is demonic power. While our Christianity attaches us to divine superpower, there is power and there is what? 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 Superpower. There is power and there is superpower. First John chapter 4 verse 4. 1 John chapter 4 verse 4, the Bible says, 1 John chapter 4 verse 4, the Bible says, you dear children, you are of God, little children, let's use the version you can see, and have overcome them, because he who is in you is a superpower than he who is in the world, who is just a mere power. Let's read it again. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them. We have won. We have beaten them in their own game. Why? Because we have superpower and they have power. Amen. Did you hear what the Bible says? We are victorious because we have superpower and they have what? They have power. The world around us has power for studies. Power for enticing marriage partners. Power for happiness. Power for creating wealth. Power for healing. Power for dealing with enemies. We don't have that power. Instead, we have divine superpower. Hallelujah. Greater is superpower that guides and covers us than the power that is in the world. They have power from their abilities and from demons, but we have superpower from God. Hallelujah. That's why we don't compete with the world. That's why we don't do things like them. We stay cool and calm like people who got real superpower. At their exposure. Have you seen presidents when they are surrounded by security? They don't panic. They don't panic. They just walk cool because they have power around them. Are we together? And that's how Christians are. We have power. We are just cool. There is no crisis that flinches us. No. We are calm when threatened. We are calm when things go wrong. We are calm in crisis because we know the superpower will win at last and we will be victorious. Hallelujah. As calm as the three Hebrew boys being thrown in the fiery furnace. They were told by the king, listen, I'm going to throw you into the fire. And they said, king, let's not waste time defending ourselves. Cool. Oh, no. Oh, king, please forgive us. You know. No, 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 no. They just say, let's not waste time defending ourselves. The God we are dealing with is a superpower. That fire is nothing. And if you throw us in there, he is superpower. He can decide to get us burnt or save us. You feel free to hurry up and do what you need to do. Amen. And they took them to the fire, and they were cool. They were looking at each other, giving each other a high five in case it's the last time. Pop. <laughs> And they got into the fire calm because they were not dealing with the power of Nebuchadnezzar but superpower of God. And when they got into the fire, they started walking around saying, hey, guys, we're still here. And they were doing fist bumping. Yeah, thanks, we are here. And they just, oh, Jesus, you are here. Oh, thanks. And I can imagine a hug. Are we together? I don't know if it was a side hug or a full hug. Are we together? And then they, they so how, how is it? All things are okay. Heaven is okay. And yeah, 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 yeah. And Nebuchadnezzar looked and said, what? As calm as Daniel being thrown in the lion's den because Daniel was dealing with superpower. When he was told you will be thrown in hungry lions, he said, feel free. They took him there and lowered him in. He was not crying. Ah, ah, I'll be eaten. Have mercy on me. No, 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 no. It's okay. And when he got there, the lions lost appetite for him. Mm. Who eats such? And the lions went aside and said, I don't eat that. He's not even roasted. 
as calm as Stephen being stoned to death. Stephen is being stoned to death, not to life. And there, he's raising his hands, looking in heaven as stones are coming. Dang, dang, and he's saying, Father, forgive them. I can see Jesus there. The right hand of God. Oh, hallelujah. And he died. Calm. Not crying. Oh, you guys are hurting me. Oh, you are hurting. No, no, no. no. Calm. Cool. 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 When you are dealing with superpower, you are cool even in crisis. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why when the Bible talks about death, it says, brethren, don't mourn like the world who have no hope. Somebody dies, yeah, we shed a tear or two, but we are hopeful. When you deal with superpower, you are calm even in crisis and death. There is power and there is what? Luke chapter 10 verse 19. The Bible says, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Hallelujah. And nothing will harm you. Look at that verse. Behold, I give you authority to trample on the power of serpents, power of scorpions, and over how much power of the enemy? Hey, read that verse. And over how much power of the enemy? All the power of the enemy. And nothing, nothing shall do what? Shall harm you. Listen, friends. This is a guarantee for genuine baptized believers. Not hypocrites. This is a guarantee for those who are baptized, who have heard the gospel, accepted to get baptized, and are believers in Jesus. This is their guarantee. This is not a guarantee for those who are still clever saying, not now, I'm still thinking about it. This is not their guarantee. The guarantee God gives is nothing will harm you. Can you imagine walking around with an insurance policy that just has those few words, nothing will harm you? Traveling knowing nothing will harm you. Going to bed to sleep knowing nothing will harm you. Eating food cooked by your enemies knowing nothing will harm you. Hallelujah. Amen. What is the guarantee we have? Nothing will harm you. What is the guarantee we have? Nothing will harm you. What is the guarantee we have? Nothing will harm you. As you go through university, nothing will harm you. As you date, there is no player who will con you and box you in. Nothing will harm you. Hallelujah. The verse that was read to us, Revelation 21, 7 says, Cowards will not inherit heaven. If there is anyone afraid of the power of demonic powers, you are not going to heaven. Anyone who is afraid, you cannot deal with superpower and be trembling at witches and witch doctors. You cannot be dealing with superpower God and be afraid of Illuminati, devil worship. Oh, he's Illuminati. Oh, this guy is a devil worshiper. Move me from this room, Dean. I don't want this room. Ah, I think my roommates are devil worshippers. Nonsense. You are hell bound like them. Cowards are not heading to the kingdom of God. Cowards, cowards. When you deal with superpower, let them be devil worshippers. In fact, you sleep in advance and you just know they won't touch you because God is a superpower. But these fears, oh, I don't like that guy. The way he looks at people, his eyes go around. Have you seen his belt? It is written 666. Have you seen the shirts he wear? They have a skull. Hey, that guy, no, no, that lady is dangerous. She has been transferred from 45 secondary schools. Be careful. She looks at you and you get a headache. Hey, I'm afraid. You and your fear, you are hell bound. The Bible says that the cowards, the unbelieving, the murderers, and those who practice magic arts are not going to heaven. So you go around with your fear saying, hey, guys, do you know what's happening? There is a witch who can even turn your leg to look backwards. Hey, do you know what? You continue with your fear talk. You ain't going to the kingdom of God. There is power and there is what? So don't be afraid of power when there is superpower. Do you need to get baptized to access superpower in your life? Walk straight to our office and register your name. 
Do you need to make a recommitment to Christ in order to access superpower in your life? Be part of the prayer that I'm about to offer. Do you need forgiveness of, because of the fear and the practice of these demonic activities? Be part of the prayer that I'm about to offer. There is power and there is what? Let's pray. Father in heaven, while there is a lot of power doing crazy and scary things around us, we thank you because there is superpower accessible to us. There are people who need to get baptized to access the superpower. May they register for the next coming baptism as soon as possible to save their lives. There are people who need to make recommitment from their hypocrite living. We pray, dear Heavenly Father, that you may accept us as we come before you. And there are people who have been afraid of demonic forces and others who have been practicing these things. Forgive, Father. Forgive, Father. Forgive that we may live a life of courage depending on you, our only superpower. May we remember that there is power and there is superpower. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.